Welcome one and all. This is going to be a uh, unconventional diecast emporium video. If you're an avid viewer of my channel, typically I will normally do model reviews or unboxings or collection updates here and there. But uh, I set up this little scene, the scenescape or diorama, whatever you would like to call it, last night, just for some pictures on Instagram, and it really received a lot of positive feedback from it. And because this is kind of sort of my background, I really wanted to do a video of it for the YouTube community. Kind of filled with some facts and just kind of show you what's going on, I guess. But before I get off on a tangent, I do want to say this. If you're in the tri-state area, Cincinnati, or Cincinnati, good grief, Ohio, Kentucky, or Indiana, and you have nothing else better to do on Saturday, come check out my displays at Entertainment. I know, it's a goofy word. That's what it's called. That they, It's a train store with one of the largest train layouts in the world, but they're doing a model and hobby show. So it's free admission. Drop by, Google Enter Entertainment Junction for directions. If you want to come, I'd love to meet you and uh, talk all things model related. All right, so onward with this scene. So what's going on here is a uh, what we officially call a cluster. Um, we have local, state, and federal units here on scene at this little house here. Um, typically, we would call this this whole operation would be led by an acronym known as JTTF. And that stands for Joint Terrorism Task Force. And what a Joint Terrorism Task Force does, for those of us who may not know or haven't even heard of it up till this point, uh, they are tasked with... It, it's an organization between everything from city, state, all the way up to federal law enforcement agencies that are in charge of combating terrorism. Now, you're starting to see a lot more lone wolf style attacks, um, which are more often than not ISIS supported and uh, related. It's in my personal opinion that it's very highly unlikely that you'll see a 9-11 style attack again, a coordinated mass attack that kills thousands. That's a good thing, but it's also a negative thing because it makes it very, very difficult to, you know, to get eyes on somebody or to um, to really watch somebody who may be a target of interest. And a lot of that has to do with the Patriot Act and what we're limited to do and what we're not limited to do. Uh, what we can do, what we can't do, and it's a whole lot of bureaucracy bull crap. So, um... So basically what we have here in this little scene is we had a gentleman who was in his late 20s. Um, he bought a house and was working as a uh, TV salesman in one of the largest electronic stores. And what he would do is he would come home at night and he would get on his computer and spew hatred about the West in America and how... Uh, we were causing oh, a lot of problems in in the uh, Middle East, and he wanted to rise up, and he wanted to uh, inspire others to commit terrorism acts. So these guys had been following him and tracking him for months on end. Once they finally were able to tie in his location, and they had evidence beyond a reasonable doubt, that he was, in fact, a terrorist or about to be a terrorist, uh, a mission such as this was launched. So I'm going to pick the camera up, so hopefully you guys don't get dizzy here. But we walk you through this. So starting over here, what you have are your local assets. So in this case, it would be um, your city department. So in this case, of course, it would be the city of NYPD, New York City. They would cordon off the area with a four-point perimeter. Here, I'm demonstrating a two-point perimeter because it's not real life, and this is all I have to deal with. But they would shut the streets down in the area from way, way back and allow these guys to come in. Now, although this vehicle is marked NYPD, this is actually an ESU vehicle, which stands for Emergency Service Unit. 
and that is the kind of special forces, if you will, of the New York City Police Department. Kind of your hostage negotiators, your sharpshooters, um, your, your breaching teams, all the fun things. But we use this typical, this, this truck right here to transport the FBI team who actually entered the residence and carried out the raid. Um, the FBI portion of this operation that's responsible is known as HRT, uh, Hostage Rescue Team. So it's kind of the elite of the elite of FBI. So these black vehicles, this black Tahoe and those two black Ford Taurus shows, and I think there's another black Chrysler over there. Uh, those are your government vehicles from your various government agencies and OGAs. That big vehicle right in the middle, that's called an APC or an Armored Personnel Carrier. And that obviously carries personnel around in the back, but it, it also has a water cannon up on top to disperse crowds. And it has a pull bar on the front, right here, to breach structures, pull out windows, pull open doors, kind of do whatever you need to do to gain access into a, um, into a building while keeping its occupants somewhat safe. I mean, if you hit this thing, if this thing rolls over a uh, improvised explosive device, you're still going to feel it. It's not, you know, it's not bulletproof. It's just, it's better than walking around with nothing. Let's just say that. So here they did a pull on the main door. They made entry. The suspect was there in the living room with his family, his wife and his um, child. A flashbang grenade was deployed. The suspect somehow managed to not be stunned by that particular weapon and uh, brandished an AK-47 at the entry team and thus was uh, dealt with accordingly. The wife and child did make it out without any severe injuries. Obviously, they were terrified and their ears were bleeding, but besides that, uh, they will live to see another day. But anyway, just thought I'd show you guys all this, um, particularly because I had three messages sent to me wanting to uh, explain or do a video on this. So I know it's a little shaky, but I hope you guys like it. It's definitely different than what I normally do. So, anyway, I hope it was helpful and you guys enjoyed it. So as always, guys, thank you for tuning in. Be safe and stay tuned for the next video. Take care, guys.